And uh, before you go off on your tangent, um, thoughts on the Olympic uh, women's basketball team? A lot of controversy, a lot of... Uh, do, do the women, like pro players, do they wear nails when they play? Like, are they allowed to wear... What does that have to do? I'm just curious on if there's, like, rule sets where they can't wear nails. Like, because this is dangerous. I mean, look, look at this. Don't touch me. <laughs> I cut myself earlier. My I chest, don't want you to touch me in general. My, my not chest is bleeding. Like, like so... But, but Give me your thoughts on know. the Olympic basketball team. I don't know anything about it. Picking or not picking... Caitlin Clark to uh, be oh, no, they left her off. They left I her saw off. Dave Portnoy say that was the dumbest decision he's ever heard in his life. You know, I can take either side. Okay. Okay, and and not for the sake of killing the next ten minutes. Okay. You know, because we do have two interviews coming up in in the last. Uh, well, I have a Vito Belfour story to tell you. Well, here's my thing: if she is one of the top eleven or twelve players in the league, on in America on the planet, she deserves to go. But if she doesn't. And probably she doesn't. She's probably not one of the top 12 female basketball players in the world. Right. In the country, because right. it's the Olympics. Sure. So a lot of people that are jumping on, Caitlin didn't go, she should go, because of eyes. Uh, that, that's not the... The Olympic co- Committee shouldn't worry about eyes. They don't care. They shouldn't care on how many eyes are watching the WNBA. Because it's two entirely different things. If the WNBA put the team together... That's different, maybe just for the eyes. I don't think she is one of the top 12 Do female basketball players in America. Did Bridget but, hold on one sec. But hold on one sec before you set me off on Griner. Um, she has brought eyes to the WNBA. She has moved for sure. where Indiana plays from a barn building whoa, to whoa, arenas. Whoa, easy. No, okay. my roots. That's where I'm from. Well, I have a cowboy hat. I understand. Um, respectful. So I, well, saw that, the I saw that picture of you. Like Six that, years old with a cowboy hat. That was so that's the problem with people. Well, more eyes, more eyes. Let's be honest. You're going to watch the Olympics. Yeah, to be honest. Now, whether you watch the women's basketball team, I don't know. I'm not going to watch because of the other name that she said. Yeah, Brittany Griner. You know, having her represent the country, I have a problem She's with. She's representing Russia. Well, that may be on her sweatshirt <laughs> underneath. She's, she's been there more than you've been in Philly. Like, she spent more time in another country than you spent in your hometown. Um, how, long, how long was she in jail? <laughs> I don't know, but she was in Russia well, longer than I, you were in Philly. You don't know that for a fact. Well, we can find out. We could. Tell but me. But, but well, she, I think she played in Philly, too. Can't you? If you I mean, in Russia. But people can always pick which country they want to represent. So yes. could she technically play for Russia if she chose? Well, first of all, she doesn't like Russia. Well, we, we assume that. But you can, yes, you can play for any team that, that you are a citizen of. So if she was to change her citizenship, uh, my buddy, when we do this uh, former co-host tour, Dave Kokotis tells me that he is a citizen of three countries. So you'd get to pick which one of those you want to represent. Right. Right. And some people have, you know, they're not going to make the American golf team, so they're going to go represent wherever. Sure. Um, So, yeah. Uh But I don't think Brittany Griner, first, isn't going because she's going to go represent this country disrespectfully. Whoa. Um, what? What'd she do again? I mean, she just had a weed pen, right? Like it was like, but it was a law violation of Russia terms. But I mean, that's that's not being disrespectful to the country. The kneeling during the flag and all, okay, okay. during the national anthem okay. and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you have a right to do it, but you're going to now kneel while you're trying to win and represent the the flag that you're disrespecting. Yeah, that, gets, that gets a gray area. I mean, because you, 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 you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to your own Absolutely. Action. Absolutely. But uh, to represent the flag in the Olympics. The Olympics is about the country. Right. Now, is it about the country or is it about the flag? Well, the flag represents, represents the, country the country to some. Sure, not, not to everyone. Not to everyone. And now with so many immigrants that nobody really has, like, that American flag doesn't mean what it once did. I mean, back in the 80s, it was Russia versus the U.S., Rocky versus Drago. I mean, we, we hated Russia. We were a unified enemy as a, as a people. But when the USSR broke up and the war games, now we turned on ourselves. Like, this. Didn't the Beatles say back to the USSR? Yeah, I mean, that, was, that was it. But we lost our common enemy as a people, and then we just turn on ourselves because we're like, oh, we have to hate somebody or hate something. So now it's your neighbor. I don't think Caitlin Clark not being on the team is going to cause people not to watch. They're, they were going to watch anyway. 
Okay. Yeah. It's still the Olympics. Right. Well, I, 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 I beg to differ. I was at Burger King this week, brand new one, really nice, sleek lines. It still had humans in it, unlike McDonald's. They have a couple of those are, are humanless operations. It's all automated now. But the Burger King had one TV, and you know what they played? Not sports, not m- news. It was YouTube clips, short little things of cute animals, just like America's Funniest Video, except digitalized into reels, and they were just clip little, quick little action, and that's all that there is. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Because people are, like, the Olympics Olympics used to be on every TV in America. When the Olympics were on, you could go anywhere and you could watch it. Now the you Olympics don't even know what's going to be. On. You don't even know what's going to be. The Olympics aren't on. They yet. will come and go, and no one will even know. That's not true. I'm so, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're go right. in public, other than a sports bar, and see if there's an Olympic on the TV in any of these places. When the Olympics start in August it'll, or late it, July, it'll be on everywhere. It's like, the Olympics. Just like the Tour de France, you won't even know what well, happened. The Tour de France isn't the Olympics. The hardest sport in the world is the cycling. The Tour de France is the hardest race uh, obstacle course of any sport. Are you done? Have you seen the documentaries? Have you watched any of those? Are you done? The Tour de France is Nobody the hardest sport in the world. Nobody cares. We're about a sports show. We're a sports what I'm program. saying is cycling is a sport. I understand that. Break dancing is now an Olympic sport. I know, which is a joke, and so is that spinning ribbon thing. You know, oh, twirling. Yeah, is is well, it's a, that's an art. It's an art. It's not a sport. It's an art. It's an art. People will watch cycling when it's the Olympics. Now, with the Tour de France. It's not the Olympics. It's still different countries and whatever. But it's not our country versus your country. I watch every bike race in the summer games. The short track, the long track, the wrecks, all that stuff. It's the Olympics. So, yes, people are still going to watch the Olympics. I will not watch Team USA's basketball team. Did you watch the last Olympics? I'm sure I did. Where was it? I don't know. (laughs) Exactly. Japan. Was it? I think it, I think it was Japan. I think. I mean, I've watched every it's Olympics Paris now, right? This uh, upcoming Paris, right? So I've watched every Olympics, not start to finish, not every event. I'll I'll watch if we're in the event because this is what's supposed to bring our country together. That you root right. for mm-hmm. our country, sure. whether you like or don't like. It's the U.S. versus France. It's the U.S. versus Germany. Blah blah blah. The World Cup. It's the same thing. I have only watched women's soccer. I don't like soccer. But I have watched women Olymp- Olympic soccer until recently, and the World Cup. See, so with you going on this quest to find a, a co-host for the show and bringing in old people from the past, I wish Weghorn was here right now. Yeah, because he talks Cause soccer. Because Weg would know. But I think I saw something this week of Brazil versus U.S. Cup or something. They're playing here locally yeah, they're, in Orlando. I think there's some in Orlando. And I think that whatever the Cup's called is also. So at, we should uh, go. We went to the All-Star game. We went to see Rob Stone and, and all the Zlatan, the, the, you know, the god of L.A., um, we should get back into soccer, like bring the legs, get some cigars, you know. We can uh, have a boys' night out. Um, don't need wags and don't need you with cigars. When was the last time you did like a guys' night? Like just you piled up a bunch of dudes. And you're like, oh, go to a sporting event and do something fun, like truck truck pulls or monster jam or or basketball game. Not media, but just bros. I don't hang out with bros. You gotta get a bro. Well, oh, I got a bro. I, I am hanging out with a bro. I lied. Yeah. Yeah. We're spending two nights in Denver with Bro. Yeah? Yeah. Eric in Denver. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should be really fun. I just hope I don't get whiplash again. Last well, time you had to cut off a muffler when you guys... No, he it. cut it. He cut off the bumper. <laughs> it wasn't the bumper. The muffler was getting ready to explode. So he wanted to take us to this mountain, whatever the mountain in Denver is. Yeah, well, there's a lot of them. No, the one that all, you go all the way to the top and... I mean, it was cool, but... <laughs> I'll go to the top. What's the biggest thing in, in Denver? The highest... P- Park Peak. Yeah, that's where we okay. went. So, and you have to buy this, that, the other. He was so determined to take us up there that the car almost blew up. No, you went to Estes Park. You went Estes no, we went to Park. Park. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you got to go all the way up, and you go in circles, and then a helicopter flew by. It was cool. Yeah. But he was so determined to take us up there, the car literally almost <laughs> got on fire. The dude in the back, who was a friend of his, is like, you know, my my, my butt's <laughs> kind of getting hot here. What's going on? And he, he kept oh, driving, he kept driving, and finally he pulls over, and it's getting ready to it's on fire so <laughs> what happened was the, the exhaust was now covered by the bumper so it wasn't getting out right <laughs> so what does our boy our bro do he cuts the bumper smart not takes us back to safety <laughs> he cuts the bumper and he goes no i want to take you to the top of the bike's peak i don't know if he talked that way but 